What's good, my Wizards? It's Dev from SBMTG on the YouTube.com down there. We like magic, you know, by now. And holy crap, Wizards just announced a bunch of standard bannings along with some modern bannings as well. And they moved up the ban announcements by a week and stuff. Like, just so much hype. So much hype, and I've got to calm down. So let's try and go over this. I want to talk to you guys. Okay, so let's first talk about standard real quick because that's what we mostly do on this channel. And jeez, man, this kind of changes everything. So let's talk about these bannings. First of all, they banned Emrakul in Standard, so that happened. They also banned Smuggler's Copter, and they banned Reflector Mage as well. So let's go over these one by one, and let's let's sort this out together. Okay, first of all, first of all, Emmy. Emrakul, they have banned in Standard. They haven't banned cards in Standard in, like, a really long time, much less three at one time. This is unprecedented. Like, this doesn't happen. And they banned Emrakul because she's a little bit too oppressive, and maybe they're absolutely right about that. And I'm sure that a lot of people are pretty happy about this announcement, but I'm also pretty sure that people that spent, like, $30 on Emrakul's and $15 on Smuggler's Copter are a little bit peeved, to say the least. I mean, I haven't checked the values yet, but I'll include them in the video by the time I upload it. Um, I haven't checked the values yet because I'm, I'm worried, but I'm pretty sure that in the few hours since the announcement, these have already tanked. So, I'm sorry if you spent money on these, but a lot of people are probably very, very happy about this, sort of myself included, because now they can go to FNM again. I'm sure that FNM attendance had a lot to do with this announcement today, and sure, Magic Online's doing good coverage of the Pro Tours is higher, better than it's ever been, you know, more people watch it than ever before. Um... But, that in mind, Paper Magic has not been doing well at the store level, and Wizards is very, very painfully aware of that, and the customers have done their best to make them aware of that. <laughs> so, they go today and announce that they're going to ban the two most oppressive cards in the entire format, and Imrakul is one of those two. Let's talk about her for a second. I know well, she's been on screen forever, but <laughs> in any case... Um, this means that no more turn four Etherworks Marvel wins. So Etherworks Marvel may be entirely completely done and out of the format. We're not totally sure. People are scrambling to work on that and like trying to work with the uh, the big green lizard in Ether Revolt and seeing if that works. I doubt that it will um, at all. <laughs> so we I don't know if Etherworks Marvel is even a thing anymore. Much less green black delirium. This was the this was the win condition for delirium for a while, aside from like Liliana ultimating or something. So. This also really cuts the leg out, legs out from under that deck as well. So no more, you know, turn four Emrakul's, let's get to her as fast as possible. And no more holding off until we get to Emrakul so we can just finish the game. Wizards said themselves that the problem with Emrakul is that she just ends the game when she comes down. It's too oppressive. And they have purposely designed her to be bad against instant speed removal, which is like one of your only hopes against her. Like we're playing like sinister concoction in this format to try to deal with Emrakul in some decks. And it's just not enough obviously. As far as Smuggler's Copter goes, this is played in over half of the decks in the meta. A fa almost 60% as a matter of fact. And that is the definition of oppressive. A lot of people are going to be especially happy about this. People hate the Looter Scooter, but some people love Looter Scooter. So, but if you just look at the stat lines on it, it was obvious from day one that the card is a little bit too much, man. A two mana, three, three flyer that loots for you. You get great card selection out of it. It enables a bunch of different strategies in the format. And it only costs the one toughness or the one power creature to crew. Like, this is obviously a busted card, and in a way, it's one of the cards that's been most deserving of a standard ban for a while. But, like, if they didn't ban Collected Company in the last format, then I'm a little surprised that they banned these cards now. But players have been for a while now making it loud and clear what cards they think are the most oppressive. And Amy and Smuggler's Copter are definitely on that list. Probably numbers one and two. As far as what we do without Smuggler's Copter in, like, aggro decks, and really, like, most of the decks, like, I think the Blue-White Flash will maybe still be a thing, but the banning of Reflector Mage also really hurts that. So we're just seeing this huge shakeup of the format right now, and it's going to present a huge challenge to deck builders and people like myself on YouTube, and also professional players, and even people all the way down at the FNM level that just want to win. Like, you have to analyze this format and see where the hell we're supposed to go from here, because... To be honest, at present, I'm not 100% sure. This changes some of the decks that I was building for Aether Revolt Standard, and a couple it doesn't change drastically, but still, just as far as how we go about this format, this will change a lot of things, because now maybe some other cards will get a chance to rise up. I'm interested to see where some prices go from here, because of especially these two banning Smuggler's Copter and Emrakul. Um, because this will give a lot of ch cards a chance to actually be what Wizards wants 
them to be and what players want them to be. As far as the banning of Reflector Mage goes, I guess I get it, but this one leaves me a little bit more in the dark than the other two. I mean, Reflector Mage has played in a good variety of decks in the format, and it's, it's a premier star of Blue-White Flash, but I'm a little more surprised that maybe they didn't ban Spell Queller, which a lot more people, um, in my experience, have said is, is an oppressive card. Um, so I could see banning either one of them. They went with Reflector Mage. You know, this is ridiculous tempo. And a lot of people have deemed this card unfun. You know, I, I like Reflector Mage. Um, and I don't think that it's, like, so oppressive that you need to ban it. Like, here's, here's, like, three cards right here that I think you could ban instead. Like, there's, you know, there's like Liliana and Gideon are probably on that list. So I just, I don't know, man. I'm not sure how I feel about the banning of Reflector Mage. Um... I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I, I want to be happy about it, and I want to know how many of you are happy about not only Reflector Mage, but all of these. How do you think this will affect the format? Are you happy? Are you mad that like your investments have gone down the drain at this point? I'm sure these cards have completely lost like hundreds of percent of their, of their value. Um, so just let me know uh, how you feel about all of these. I mean, I'm still trying to gather my thoughts, um, and this will probably put the deck techs a couple of days <laughs> behind, but we're still going to be working on them. I got a couple I can release um, that don't have any of these cards in them. So, there's that. so I am going to be working around the clock to try and figure this out. You guys let me know if you have any ideas or anything like that, and let's help each other out in the comments to better understand this brave new format <laughs> that, we're, that we're rolling into because we already had a lot to try and figure out with all these crazy new pieces from Ether Revolt. This shakes it up even more. And by the way, before I get out of here, I just want to point out that Wizards has also announced that they're going to be doing two separate ban and restrictive announcements every season now. So instead of just the one before the set releases, they're going to be doing another one five weeks after the Pro Tour as well. So they can adjust for what gets crazy after the Pro Tour, you know? So we may see even more banned after the after PT, you know, um, PT, Eldred, or Eldred, man, Ether Revolt. I gotta gather my thoughts here. Um, or we may see some bans lifted. We have no idea. So let me know how you feel about all this, and I'm gonna talk about these modern cards for just a second, but if you want someone that'll go more in depth on the modern cards and has other stuff to say about the standard cards, go check out Wedge's video on this. He's got a lot of in-depth stuff, especially about, um, about the modern stuff. So, huh, let me go Let me go ahead and tell you. <laughs> in modern, Wizards banned Gataxian Probe and Golgari Grave Troll, mostly because of oppressive mechanics. It's funny that Wizards prints five cards in a brand new set that allow you to cast cards for free, and then they get rid of the thing in Modern that allows you to cast a card for free. <laughs> so, they didn't completely outright ban Phyrexian Mana or anything. They just banned Gitaxian Probe, because it's obviously the best and most played of all the Phyrexian Mana cards. Um, just drawing a card is one of the best things you can do in Magic, and getting to do that for free, at no cost to you other than the two life, but who cares, is not a, is, is just like, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of a little bit crazy and enables combo decks a little much, although I really, really like combo decks, but at the same time, like, no one wants to play against turn three or four combos, and that's why they ban, like, Emrakul and Standard, so... You know, um, I, I can see why they would get rid of the Gitaxian Probe, but I think a lot of players might be a little upset. Again, modern players might be happy. As far as the modern card goes, I'm, cards go, I'm really interested to see your reactions because a lot of you play a lot of modern. I, you guys have an informed opinion on these cards leaving the format, so I really want to hear from you in the comments. As far as Golgari Grave Troll, they also basically banned a mechanic in this case. You know, they banned Dredge in Modern. No more Dredge in Modern because Golgari Grave Troll is completely the critical key card in that deck and it very much can't function without this ridiculous thing. So Dredge is more or less over in Modern. Sorry about that. After the banned Splinter Twin, things began to rise, and then they had to cut those things down so that we get a more diverse modern format. Same thing might happen in Standard since they're banning twice in a, in a season now. We might see other decks get cut down depending on how dominant they get. So I don't know whether to be worried about that or not. Are we ever going to see, like, a best deck in Standard again? You know, that's going to be something to be a little bit worried about, but a lot of players will be happy about that. Sometimes if there is a best deck in standard, that can be a serious issue, and this again puts a lot of pressure in both formats on deck builders. Not only people like me on YouTube, but people that want to play the game professionally and people that just want to be good at the game and figure out these formats. It puts a lot of pressure on us, but honestly, I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm up to the task because I think it's just a really, really, really interesting wrinkle. It's a cool challenge to see what we're supposed to do from here, so... 
I'll be pouring over the pages and putting some stuff together for standard. I hope you guys are here with me for that. Real quick before I get out of here, I just want to address something that happened earlier on the channel. Um, I uploaded the uh, the pre-release guide for Ether Revolt, and I had accidentally, because I'd been up since till like 9 o'clock in the morning editing this video, I accidentally uploaded the raw version of the video first, and it was up for like four hours <laughs> because I went to bed. Um, before, you know, I, I realized, I got up um, and realized that the, something was wrong. <laughs> and that I'd uploaded the wrong file. Um, so, and even the professor texted me like, hey man, you uploaded the wrong thing. He's like, no. And I was like, thanks. Thanks, Brian. You're awesome. Um, so, I took that video down and uploaded the edited version of the pre-release guide. So, go feel free to check that out. I think it's a damn good pre-release guide. I spent a lot of time and worked really hard on it. So, go check it out. And if you saw the unedited version of it, then I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes, the scenes look. Um, at everything this is that's how I go about making a video so and I'm sure that I'm sure that there are hilarious parts that I don't even remember like I think at one point I was like Ziggy no <laughs> so you know if you enjoyed that then I'm glad you enjoyed it but also if it was awkward then I'm, I'm sorry that you saw that go check out the real one that's all I've got for right now hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like the video sub do all that but this time I am much more interested in hearing your comments let's get a good discussion going in the comments are you happy about these changes are you excited about the deck building building challenges do you just want to know where we go from here this is probably the best wrinkle that's been thrown into standard in a really long time and modern for that matter so I want to know everything you feel about it are you mad that your cards lost value all of that stuff I'm here for you in the comments section, and I really want to get a dialogue going between all of us. So, because that kind of thing is, is of great value in times like these. So, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk in the comments section, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Dev from SBMTG. Thanks for watching, my wizards.